Hello and welcome to this Wireframe 1.1 update video. This video will showcase an update done to the Wireframe shader included in the Elias Wick Wireframe products, now available on the Unreal Engine Marketplace and Gumroad. Links to the product can be found in the video description. Today I received a comment on my Wireframe shader video from SSSS, asking if it's possible to exclude certain items or apply different shader styles to specific items. In my response, I mentioned that the wireframe shader has the capability to support such a feature, although it has not been implemented yet. So today I decided to update the wireframe shader to allow you to exclude the wireframe effect from certain assets, displaying only the base viewport color. Additionally, I have provided you with the option of applying alternative shaders to those excluded assets. This update to the wireframe shader does not change the behavior or the look of the shader. So if you do not intend to use the exclusion feature right now, nothing has changed for you. So now let me showcase how this feature works. First of all, you need to set the custom depth stencil pass to enabled in the project settings. This can be found under rendering and post-processing. You then need to activate the wireframe post-process material. I have shown this in multiple videos, including the wireframe tutorial video. But in short, you basically add a post-process volume to your scene and then set the post-process material to mi underscore wireframe. If I now want to exclude an asset from rendering with the wireframe, all I have to do is to select the asset, scroll down until I find the rendering section, expand the advanced menu, and check the render custom depth pass. What this will do is exclude the shader from rendering this particular asset and allow me to now apply other material shaders on this mesh if I so desire. In the mi underscore wireframe shader, there is also a new parameter which will allow you to invert the wireframe effect. What this will do is to invert the stencil buffer and only showcase the wireframe on the asset which has the render custom depth pass enabled. If you want to layer two different types of post-process materials, say the white wireframe shader and a black wireframe shader, you can do so by adding an additional item to the post-process material array and adding a new shader to it. In my case, I will add the mi underscore wireframe underscore classic because it's already a different color. As you can see, we now have two different types of wireframe shaders displayed on both of the assets, which has the render custom depth pass enabled and disabled. If I want to, I can change the wireframe to the scribble effect instead. Please note that depending on how the shader has been created, additional work may be required for it to work with the custom depth stencil pass. I hope you found this update helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.